Thanks for joining the Discovery Center as we discover at home. Hey everybody, Mandy here with the Discovery Center for some more Discover at Home. Today we're going to make an air cannon. And it's very simple and you can do it with things from home. Here's what you're gonna need. A solo cup, some cling wrap or plastic wrap, scissors, a rubber band, or if you don't have a rubber band, you can use a hair tie like I'm doing, and some paper to make some little figures you gotta find somebody to knock down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Solo Cup and then we're gonna cut a hole in the bottom of it however you wanna make it. I did a square, but you can cut a circle just so you have a hole. And then we're gonna take our cling wrap and we're gonna put it over the top like that. And then you're gonna take your rubber band just to kinda seal it on there so it doesn't come off. There we go. Now what you've done is you've created a pocket of air inside this air cannon and when you tap the bottom Newton's third law says for every react for every action there's gonna e be an equal and opposite reaction so when I hit this it's gonna push that air through the top of your air cannon so what we're gonna do is set up my little figures here I made some little aliens so we're gonna see if we can get those guys to fall over ready oh oh they're moving Oh, there's one. <laughs> so anyway, you can just aim and there we go. I got them both down. Aim your cannon, hit the bottom, and see if you can get some air to go through. Also, if you use dry ice, you can also put some dry ice, a little bit of water inside here and make smoke rings too. So try this out at home. Let's see what you can come up with. <laughs> 